Yeah, hello YouTube, and to an extent to Oddworld Forums, I am Dark um, Darkwoodness, otherwise known as Dark Edmund. I can't even pronounce my name properly today. But yeah, I'm gonna. I'm really, really bored, so I'm gonna do a Let's Play. Um, even though I kind of think I like the personality of this, really. So I'm gonna do a Let's Play of Abe's Odyssey. It's one of my favorite games of all time, perhaps. Ballerina. Maybe not as much as say Half Life, but mm, the people I met through this game kind of changed my life in a way. So I suppose I owe it, owe it to it, really. I've also um, created a Minecraft machinima of this game as well, or this game intro. I'm currently working on a big adventure map for that as well, so. This is Rupture Farms. They say it's the biggest meat processing plant on Oddworld. I used to work here. Well, I was really a slave. Like all the others. Yep, I also know the game quite well. Oh, my tea's done. I'll go deal with that in a second. And I have the right aspect ratio because I used an old 70 inch monitor and I found a way of recording this with fraps even so it'll get a nice good quality recording. And hopefully it should be interesting for some people, although I kind of doubt it. But yep, I'm going to go grab my tea and you can watch the rest of this SMV. Be right back. That's me. My name is A. I was employee of the year. Now I'm dead meat. I crossed the meanest boss in the world. Mullet the Gluckin. My whole life changed in just one day. I was working late one night at Rupture Farms. We used to make meat munchies. Until the meaches were through. We still made paramite pies. And we made some good scrap cakes too. I'm back. I wonder what scrap cakes taste I like. I thought I had a good job. But that was before I knew. How we'd make new and tasty, I was still to find. That's some good tea. The truth, it turned out. Now that would blow my mind. I remember shooting this particular scene in the uh, Minecraft machine ever I made. The gluckins were scared, cause profits okay. were grim. And I think it, I think it took about 30 takes or something like that, just to get the camera angles right. Paramites and scrabs had been turning up thin. But Mullet was cool. He had a plan. This new kind of meat? It was us! And the sinister plot is revealed. <laughs> Gluckens sure love cackling badly when they have a evil plan. I just had to escape. Typical villains. <laughs> Man, I love tea. I'm fueled by the stuff. It's so awesome. Anyway, let's um, start this playthrough. And we'll start by saving... Well, I aim to save all 99 of them, but... Okay, the first three hidden modokens are down here, which you'll save. You can avoid the uh, meat grinders. We've got to wait for the sleep to uh, go down to the next level, and we can kill him by... Open the trapdoor underneath him, and he's down. Get this guy to follow me. Hopefully not into the meat grinder. Follow me. Okay. Follow me. Okay. 
Wait. To go back up and rescue okay. the uh, last one. I think I could change the uh, sequence of the uh, meat grinders. You come with me. Better safe than sorry. And time it just right so you don't get stuck in the meat grinder. Okay. We'll have to flip the uh, meat grinders again. Easy now. Okay, good. Okay. The rest of this should be um, easy. Okay. And that's the first three saved. If we can get up without um, electrocuting myself. There we go. <laughs> Done that a few times. It's not fun. Something I'm kind of mystified by is why if some people find this game really hard. It's, yeah, the first time you play it, it's quite hard, but you just like play it a couple of times, it's quite easy. But perhaps I play too many games, who knows. One thing I do love about the PC version is that it shows you the um, save games, or save spots. So yeah, we're going to possess this guy because it's easier to get with the slig by the lift. Right to the uh, very right of the screen here. Shoot this guy and blow up. Mwahaha. Mm -hmm. And do a save. Okay, the next secret area is down here. You can get a grenade from the boom machine, which is useful for the next secret areas. But you also need to reveal the next one as well. You need to possess these slicks here to get rid of the other slick at the screen below this one. Gotta be quick about it. There we go. I've seen different ways of doing this hidden area, but this is the way I've always done it. Oops. I'm going to troll them tokens here. <laughs> okay, and that's the next two saved. <clears throat> Drink some more tea. Nom. So yeah, you can keep coming back here for grenades because it's useful. And some people don't for some reason. I guess I think it takes too long. <clears throat> Boom. Okay, so we're going to continue now. <clears throat> Oops. Okay, so it's the uh, third in the area. Gotta hate this one. I really do. Not as much as others, but uh... Okay, change the uh, sequence of the meat grinders. I to get past it. Carefully. So you've got to get these two through the meat grinders, which is always fun. Now I'll screw it, I can't bother to wait. Something I've noticed as well is that um, if you crouch, oops, <laughs> if you crouch, you can. Uh, oh, this guy's not following me. What's I saying? Right. If you crouch, it's easier. To, it takes less time to uh, for Abe to talk for some reason. But if you're standing up, you have to hold down the buttons to get him to talk. It's rather strange. Wait. Okay. I wanted to say with the PlayStation version, but it's not something I've noticed. Okay, so you've got to avoid this meat grinder again. Has the sequence changed? So you've got to get these past this uh, last meat grinder. Okay. It should be quite easy. Wait. Okay. Oops. Okay, so you have to wait for the other one to... Uh... I'm used to Abe's Exodus where you can alert more than one would open at once. Hello. There we go. Hello. Okay. 
Wait. Okay. And that's the next two saved. It's always useful to master the run jump from uh, one space to spare. Also, yeah, you can reactivate the uh, safe points if you know where they are. That, for example. Yep, I think there's one secret area. Yeah. Oops, crap. <laughs> Fortunately, that's not fatal. There we go. Yeah, why? That's your doom, mate. <laughs> and always remember that um, grenades detonate on the sixth beep. So always throw them before the sixth beep, otherwise you'll blow off your boxes. And another is saved. Activate the portal first before going there, otherwise the birds will fly away and have to reset them. Something else I've noticed as well is that um, the run cycle of other green Radokans isn't complete somehow. It's like half a run cycle Hello. in the PC version. Hello, follow me. Okay. You watch them carefully Com and compare it to Abe's uh, run cycle. It's with a kind of hop. <laughs> well, you can't really see it here. Well, I'm, I'm sure you have plenty of opp opportunity to see this as I um, play through this game. So look at that half a run cycle. Wait. Okay. Hello. 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 Follow me. Okay. Next two saved. Easy as pie. What? Yeah, I made a signature for Odal Forums. A nice fancy posh um, animated signature. Oh, we activate the um, save point. So I remember standing here and frapsing this for ages and ages, try to just try and um, get the right footage so I can make it into a GIF or GIF or whatever. Oops. Keep mispronouncing it. Unfortunately, though, I wasn't allowed to use it. But whatever. Sneak past this thing. Oh shit! Ah, okay. Yeah, this is why I saved. Oh yeah, I just have tea. So it would help if we actually stood in the right place. <clears throat> so yep, do the same again. Rouse the snake here. Gotcha. 
Yeah, I hope that's um, stopped the meat okay. grinder. Okay, so we've got Wait. these three now. Okay. Getting rid of this uh, oh, chant druid thing is hard. Run away! Ah, missed. Okay, be careful <laughs> jumping here, otherwise you jump into the meat grinder. Not so fun. Okay, we'll try that. No, we won't. Uh, Okay, from here. That did it. I failed many a time doing that for some reason. I don't know why. I guess it's in the awkward place. Hooray! Except I've not activated the safe point anymore. So I need to be careful here. I think in the demo, um, the sounds are different there or something. Yep, that's a fast way of um, getting rid of the unexploded bomb down there. Hello. 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 Okay. Another one is saved. Oops. What a way to die. <laughs> yeah, I always forget about that um, gap there. Unfortunately, that's just where the save point is, though, so no progress lost. Hello. Hello, Lobby. Okay. I wonder why the sling doesn't shoot that other guy. Wait. Okay. And save these two. And sneak for no reason. Yeah, there's a bit up ahead where you can save, I mean, sneak past shadows to get past the sleek there, but it's easy to possess this guy and then kill this guy. Although you have to get him past the meat grinders, which is often a pain in the ass. If I mess up here, I've got to start over again. Uh, okay, time it right. And now. There we go. <clears throat> yep, there's a guy hiding here. As one of the LED signs says, you are not the only one who can sneak in shadows. Memory serves me correctly, there is no Mudokins hiding there. Okay, avoid this. Actually, I'm going to activate the uh, save point. Skip the FMV. Hello. Hello, Valerie. Okay. Yeah, that's a reoccurring puzzle. Getting Madokens through uh, meat grinders. Okay. Hello. Hello, follow me. Okay. Yeah, one exploit of this game is that you can uh, Wait. Okay. get a Madoken to follow Hello. you and then you can Hello. Hello, me. quickly go to the next okay. screen and they'll somehow avoid the uh, meat grinders. It doesn't work with every screen. You really have to know the game well too. Oh, wait a minute, I've missed one. Okay. 
There we go. Hiding in the shadows over there. You shadow hider. Off you go. It's like these three um more Madokans to save. And I think I know where they are in the next hidden area. You have to save them all, otherwise they die. But if you didn't know that, you probably wouldn't be watching this. Yeah, that guy's a problem. Ah, oh, Cox, I've messed up a bit. Okay, I might have a problem here. <laughs> so a suicide. Push this thing resets if you um, die and come back, which is why I did that. So you can get with this guy now. Goodbye. It's optional to kill the sleek down there with a grenade, but you can just avoid him if you're quick. There we go. People find this area a pain in the ass to do because of the uh, flashing lights and the you've got to time the uh, meat grinders right. Let's see. Uh, not now. Not really bad. Okay, now. See, easy. And you can rescue these three. And that's the last 28, I think. Last of the 28. So yeah, if I didn't kill the sleek down here, I would have died. So. With the elevator. Da -de da. Come on, elevator. It's a shame you can't get a grenade from the machine down there and take it into stockyards. I wonder if you'll be able to do that in um, AFHD. You know, the um, HD. Uh, Remake of Ebbs Odyssey that's been worked on right now by Just Had Water.